My name is Cindy Schofield, and I go to First United Methodist Church, and our church is making these mats, which are made out of plastic bags. We cut them into strips, and then those strips become what we call plarn, which is plastic <laughs> yarn, and they're crocheted, and they become mats for the homeless people. Each mat takes between five and 700 bags, and I think that's about right, because I think this mat took about 600 bags to make. They say online it takes about 20 24 hours if you were to sit down and make one straight through. The reason the homeless people like them is because you give people sleeping bags and blankets, they end up getting dirty and they get wet and then people just leave them on the side of the road and they have to be picked up. But with these, uh, because they are plastic, they can just dunk them in the river or any, any body water and they're basically cleaned and they last a long time and they're lightweight. I talked to uh, Manasuk Kitchen and the homeless shelters here in town and they said they could use up to 100 of them. So we have um, at least 20 to 25 people who are crocheting them and making them. So we hope to make that many for the homeless people here in town. And then also all of our mission groups, uh, they're going to different places, um, are taking the technique with them to use in different places. One of the specific groups is going to Kenya and they are going to teach the women who are AIDS widows in those areas to use this technique to make things that they can sell in the market to make money for their families.